I'm gonna show you how to fix FPS drops in Fortnite, but I'm only gonna show you the steps that actually work. Okay, first of all, go to the top right corner, then go to settings, and on display, make sure you're playing on rendering mode. This is one of the most important steps, and I swear, if you're not using this, this will definitely save you. Okay, for the next step, we can close Fortnite and open up the Epic Games launcher. Then, we want to find Fortnite, click these three dots, go to options, and make sure to download these pre-download stream assets. Trust me, this definitely works. Basically, your FPS is going up and down just because Fortnite is trying to re-download every skin the lobby every single game. So if you download pre-download streamed assets, it will definitely save you some computing power and it would definitely fix your FPS problems. By the way, if these tips are helpful so far, make sure to like the video. Okay, for the next step, we'll need to use the internet and you're gonna write ultimate performance power plan then you're gonna go to how to geek and you're gonna scroll all the way down until you see this power config and you're gonna copy it if you want you can read about this but i'm just gonna explain it a little bit quicker basically what this does is it makes your pc use way more power so your cpu and gpu will get more power and in return you will get more fps and way stable fps okay now go to the windows search bar write cmd and make sure to run this as administrator. Now just paste in the command by pressing Ctrl V and it should say something like this. Now go to Windows Search, write Edit Power Plan. Now on the top here, click on Power Options and make sure to choose Performance Mode. So I asked ChatGDP how can you fix FPS drops and most of the things it recommended are pretty trash. However, I really liked updating drivers, so I'm going to show you how to do that on Nvidia. I personally have an Nvidia graphics card, so I'm going to show you how to do it for that. So if you already don't have the Nvidia app, I really recommend that you would download it. All you got to do is write Nvidia app. And once you downloaded it, you should go to drivers and on the top right corner, if you want, you can check for updates or just install a new update. Personally, there is no new updates and I updated it pretty recently and it kind of did help me. I hope I was able to help you with this video and if this helped you, this next video may help you too.